Welcome to Excel Highway, your one-stop shop for all your Excel needs. In today's video, I want to share with you a Google Sheets file that I created for content planning. So if you have a YouTube channel, Instagram, LinkedIn, whatever, and you want to organize your process a bit better, you can use this file for exactly that. It's a very simple file, but it gives you some order about your social media uh, content planning. If you're new to this channel, I've been using Excel and Google Sheets for more than 10 years, and I'm posting this content to help you use it better, show you some tips and tricks, and I hope it will be enjoyable for you. If you find this content uh, interesting, please make sure to hit that subscribe button below as to not miss new content. All right, so the Google Sheets has a few sheets. We have a content ideas sheet where you upload your ideas, content calendar to understand when you want to publish anything, production checklist to see that you're on track, keyword research, collaboration log, and lists, which helps you with the drop downs. Let's start with the lists. So here is where you define lists that you can use to um, speed up the uh, inputting of the data, the cells. I have a list for platform. You can see YouTube, Instagram, whatever. Categories, status, production tasks, responsible person. Of course, you can change that, add, delete, whatever you want. Let's start with content ideas. So th the idea here is that you input a title like NBA playoffs. You select a category, education, recreation, travel, sports, anything goes that you can put over here. Then you select the platform, for example, TikTok. You can add the intended audience like sports fans and target keywords, notes, and additional content. That's step number one. You define the title that you want to work on. Next step is when you want to publish. So you, you select the title. So the title is a drop-down of the titles that you have over here. If you're not familiar with how to use drop-downs in Google Sheets, very easy. You got to go to data, data validation. And for example, you can see the list. It shows you the area. And you just select, you know, let me start one from scratch just to show you. Data validation. I'll add a rule for, you can see the location. So age four, you can add more so you can just select a, a wider range and here you select drop down from a range and you select your lists and I always leave the last digit out and that way it just takes the entire list click on done and where are we and you have it over here Okay, I will just remove that list because I don't need it. So that's how you create the, the drop down list all through the file. You'll see a lot of them. So you select the title, then the category platform and target keywords is going to be pulled automatically from here using index match. All right, so I'm using a simple index match. Index match, uh, if you're not familiar with that, that formula basically allows you to search the row and the column for the exact word. So you use match for certain uh, text within the first column over here okay and then I'm using a second match to find the header uh, on a certain row and index is the table that you're searching for so that's a very useful formula if you have multiple columns instead of using VLOOKUP with a changing number so those are brought in automatically then you have the status new active completed on hold removed and if you select completed it's going to be grayed uh, sorry colored in green so you know it's done and of course you can change these in order to change uh, the row all you have to do is apply conditional formatting and you see the formatting is for the entire range and the formula is if f2 and you leave you got to put the dollar sign on on the f equals completed. I'm just adding one or zero just so it's yes or no. And then some sort of filtering. 
some sort of uh, coloring. Sorry, that's pretty easy to do. Production checklist. Uh, so here you select the title, the select the, pla the platform, select the task, and the person responsible. And these two are of course coming from the lists, so you can decide what kind of tasks you want to do depending on the platform, of course. These could be names instead of the job description, so it could be someone that you really work with and you want to understand, you know, manage their tasks and see what they've been doing. Set up the due date, set up a checkbox for completed yes, no. Setting up a checkbox is also easy. Format, sorry, data, data validation. Um, and there it is, checkbox. And instead of selecting the drop down, you just select checkbox and click on done. Um, and that gives you the ability to easily check if something is completed. And a status column that basically looks for that row if it has any value in the due date. And if this is true, meaning a checkbox is marked, then the status is completed. Otherwise, it's not completed. So if the due date is before today, that I'm using this to reference today instead of within the formula so it works quicker. So it's late, otherwise it's on time. So if I take out the completed, this would be late. And I also have a conditional formatting here, all right, that just checks if the text contains late. Colors it red. So if I mark it, it's done. If I don't mark it, it's either on, on time or late. So that's the uh, production checklist. Then you have a keyword research that you can use. A keyword, a platform, search volume, competition level, relevance to channel, and any notes. As always, also there's a collaboration log so you can li list future collaborations um, and their impact and everything. Last thing is if you want to know how to create the, these alternate colors for the rows, just like a table in Excel. You just select an area. Let's do a new one. So header one, two, three. So I select the area, go to format, alternating colors. And I just select a certain color. And you can see that I can change the header could be whatever you want. And of course, you can change the area. So remove the four, and it'll be all the way. And if you want to remove it, remove alternate colors. Very simple. And it did that for all the sheets, just so it looks a bit more easy to input the information. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, press that like, and I will see you next time. Take care now.